you can make models like DeepSeq with reasoning by training the base model with reasoning data. But the complicated issue is that how can you generate reasoning data? We are going to use AI agents to generate the data automatically and upload that to Hugging Face. DeepSeq R1 being one of the popular and more advanced open source model, it has a reasoning capability. But at present, most of the base model doesn't have reasoning. But we can easily add reasoning to these models by training those models with reasoning data. You're going to learn how you can generate synthetic reasoning data using AI agents. The first AI agent generate question and answer pairs. Then the evaluator agent evaluates those question and answers. Then the reasoning steps generator agent will automatically generate the reasoning steps for all the question and answer pairs generated. Finally, it will get uploaded to Hugging Face by the Hugging Face uploader agent. At the end, the data gets uploaded to Hugging Face like this with the question and the reasoning steps. You can use this data set to train any large language model to add the reasoning capability. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. The reason why we are using AI agents because everything is automated. We don't need to do anything in this. You can also ask this question answer generator agent to generate based on a specific topic or you can even feed your own data here and it can automatically generate all the question answers and the reasoning steps also will be based on that. So first we are going to create all these agents. First step, in your terminal, pip install Prezen AI agents LLM, datasets, Hugging Face Hub and Pandas, then click enter. Now it's installing all those packages. Now export your open AI API key like this. We are going to use GPT-40 mini model to generate all these synthetic data. You can also use any other model, even using Olama, which you can run locally on your computer for free. So after entering your API key, just click enter. Next, exporting your Hugging Face token, which you can generate from huggingface.com. So after entering these two in your terminal, we are going to create a file called app.py and we are going to open it. So inside the file, first from Prezen AI agents, import agent task Prezen AI agents. Then we are adding two tools, chain of thought to save and chain of thought upload to Hugging Face from tools. Next, Pydantic base model and OS. Next, we are defining the Pydantic model for structured output. We are trying to generate structured output from these agents. So getting response and the decision. Now step number one, creating tools. Getting started is very easy. Even a beginner should be able to do this. First, we will be creating tools, then creating agents, then creating tasks and assigning those tasks to those agents. And finally, start those agents in just one page of code, nothing more. So first, tools. So we're going to create a tool called write CSV. This tool will automatically create a CSV file if required and write it on that file. So the next tool is count questions to count the number of question answer pairs saved in the CSV file. Now step number two, creating agents. We are going to create these four agents. Coming back to the code, step number two, creating agents. First is the QA generator, question answer generating agent. And we are providing this tools to those agents, write CSV and count questions. Next, total questions evaluator agent. You're providing the description on what it should do. Checking if the total number of questions in this file is what is expected. Next, we got the chain of thought or the reasoning steps generating agent. So this is the main agent. Here we are providing a tool called COT save. That is the chain of thoughts and it will automatically save that in the provided file. And the final agent is upload to hugging face agent. We are providing the tool upload to hugging face. That's it. Now step number three, creating tasks to those agents. Creating tasks. So task number one is generate task. So this task example is that it's going to save that in a CSV format with question and answer. Question is going to look like this, and this is how the answer is going to be. So it's going to create 10 unique question and answers, and going to save that in QA pairs.csv file. So the next task is to evaluate total questions. So that is the next task we are going to create. So evaluate total question task. So this counts the total number of questions saved in QA pairs.csv. If it's less than the requested, that is 10 then it'll automatically request for more and it'll go back to generate task that is the previous task. If the total count is more than 10 or 10, it'll go to generate 
chain of thoughts. So that's the next task, generate chain of thought task. So in this generate CRT task, we are giving a description on what it should do. It should generate chain of thought and then save that in cot solutions.csv file. And here we are providing decision model. That's what we defined earlier because that is a structured response we are expecting from the model, output pydantic. And here the condition is, once after completing all the tasks, just upload to Hugging Face. Now the final task is to upload to Hugging Face. And we are just mentioning the file is chain of thought solutions.csv and upload to this location. That is from Hugging Face. Now the final step, start these agents. So step number four, starting agents. So agents equals present agents. Here we are just listing the list of agents and the list of tasks and the processes workflow. Because we got conditions here, we have task type loop, which means it will loop through all the questions in qaps.csv. Task type decision means it will take decisions based on the status. That's why it processes workflow. And finally, agents.start. That's it. Just four steps. First, creating tools. Also, we are importing tools here. That is inbuilt tools. Step number two, creating agents. Step number three, creating task and assigning those tasks to those agents here, as you can see here. And finally, we are starting those agents. Now in my terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now first it goes to the generator agent. So the generator agent generating 10 different questions and saving that in qapairs.csv. So totally the second agent returned, there are 10 questions. So it's moving on to the next task. So that is the loop task, which means it's going to loop through every single question. So if you see the list of questions in qapairs.csv, there are 10 questions and here is the question and here is the answer. Now this will generate the reasoning steps. So the third agent you can see, it's automatically going through one by one. Totally there are 10 tasks because there are totally 10 different lines and it's a loop. So it's going to loop through one by one. And you can see it's generating the response. That is the intermediate steps or the reasoning steps, chain of thoughts. Step number one, break down the problem. Step number two, show your work. Step number three, explain each step. And final step is to give the final answer. Then it's verifying its response and saving that in a file. That is cotsolutions.csv. That's what we provided to the agent. So after going through all the 10 question and answer, creating the intermediate steps, it's going to the final agent that is upload to Hugging Face. So it's using that same file, cotsolutions.csv, and uploading that to Hugging Face as datasets. Dataset uploaded successfully to Mervin Prison slash cot dataset. So now if I go to my profile in Hugging Face, I can see the cot dataset got created and the data got uploaded here. Now I can use this dataset to train my model to add the reasoning ability. That is powerful. That will increase the performance of any model you train on. And I'm really excited about this. Do let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. This is definitely going to simplify your process. Considering you already like AI agents, I also created another video about running AI agents 100% local as a rag chatbot using DeepSeek R1. I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.